everyone! My name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jen. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome to yet another weekend reading vlog. I hate this backlight. Please. Oh, that doesn't really help. It's whatever. Okay, so this weekend, um, what am I going to be doing? I am alone until Sunday. So it is currently Friday today. Happy Friday. And today... I'm going to a bookstore and I'm letting myself buy some books and I'm so excited about it. Um, I think this is probably gonna be the last time I go buy books until 2021, just because I want to not buy any more books. I have books on pre-order that will be coming in um, as the rest of the uh, year goes on <laughs> and probably will be buying books online for like my book clubs and stuff with my friends and with the lovely ladies, but that's just kind of a given. For like, I just want to go buy some books. I want to go browse the middle grade section. I just want to go in and browse. So let me take you with me for that. But this weekend, what am I going to be reading? I have four books on the go, as always. One of them, City of Brass, I probably won't be reading this weekend because I'm just not in a fantasy mood right now. So we're gonna just let him sit on my night table and I will get to it when I get to it. Uh, the other three though, I have only started reading one of them and even then it's not even, I'm on page 18 of that and it is the second Elizabeth Peters book. I borrowed this from my friend and I've had it now for like a month. So I should probably get on it and read it actually. And then I have a book for a video that I'm going to be doing eventually that I'm going to be reading, which is The Thirteenth Tale by Dan Setterfeld. This one I'm excited about, and Scribd actually has the audiobook for this one available, so I was like, perfect, that'll be my audiobook choice for this week, this weekend. And then I have You Had Me at Ola by Alexis Daria. I want to start this this weekend at some point because the live stream is coming up in a few weeks, September 12th. My channel be there. Uh, very excited about that. But yes, those are the three books that I'm going to be focusing on at least. I am going to continue watching a bit of YouTube, letting my hair completely dry, and then I'm going to go to a bookstore. So let's get this video started. I'm in my car now. My face is warm from my mask uh, and I did some damage. Oh no, I did some damage. Anyways, okay. So I picked up the book that I've been wanting to pick up for so long. And that is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I am ridiculously excited about this. Um, and then I also picked up uh, the new Rick Riordan Presents book, Paola Santiago and the River of Tears. It's a new middle grade. And I also picked up Red Queen. Uh, because you guys will remember that I actually unhauled my copy of Red Queen earlier this year. 
which I'm very mad about. But I do this thing where I end up like following the authors on their social media and then I have they have like a I don't know, a live stream or something and you get to like you kind of get to know their personality and it just makes you want to read the book more. And <sighs> Victoria Aveyard I follow her on Instagram, she does live streams and stuff, and it's made me want to read her books so badly, so I picked up Red Queen again. I'm gonna go home now and uh, read. Do all the reading. Hopefully I don't spill my coffee again, but yeah, I'll see you at home. Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I'm here in my kitchen. I don't have anything for breakfast being made. Um, I was gonna, I don't even know. I made my coffee first, because coffee yesterday read so much you guys i got into the groove with the book that i'm reading for a video thank god it is really good so far don't know how i feel about the people in it but i like the story at least <laughs> and then i threw all the books out like all the other books that i was gonna read out the window because i just didn't want to and then i watched gilmore girls <laughs> until midnight <laughs> And then I picked up Red Queen, which I bought yesterday, and read that until 2 in the morning. So I'm now just about 100 pages in, I think. 90, 96 pages in. And I am really enjoying it. I miss... Here, I'm going to put you down beside our vodka bottle. I really, really miss old school YA. <laughs> like this. Like this... I don't even know when this was published. Also, please ignore my hair. I'm trying to make curls this morning because when I slept on my hair, it flattened everything. Okay, so this is 2015. So it's not even that old school, but it has that flavor of like typical YA that I love. Like, it's been so long since I've read a book like this that is just so YA it hurts. Like, oh, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but I, I picked this up mainly because of Victoria Aveyard herself, because I, as I said yesterday, I follow her on social media and she's just great. And she has an IGTV of her like plotting structure that she uses and she uses Red Queen as the example. And I was like, I'm gonna go read Red Queen now. <laughs> And uh, so I'm very happy about that. So I have this to read today as well. And today I also want to start um, You Had Me at Ola. I feel, I'm in the mood for that one. I need to drink coffee and I need to eat because I didn't fall asleep till two in the morning and then our stupid motion doorbell went off at four and there was nothing there <laughs> to trigger it. It just went off. And then I had like, I don't know if it was a nightmare or if I actually woke up and saw this, but there, like I had this like vision that there was a big spider on my pillow and I like woke up at like in the middle of the night and like I'm blind without my glasses on, right? So I was just like sitting there like, I'm like, did I actually see that? Or was this in my head? Because I caught two spiders in my room last night at like one in the morning because they were just hanging out in the corner and they were the size of like my knuckle bone. <sighs> Yesterday was just a kerfuffle of everything. Anyways, I'm gonna make myself breakfast and then I think I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I need to work a little bit on Project Dream because I didn't do that yesterday. I think I'm going to continue reading through it. I didn't even tell you what I'm doing for Project Dream. This is gonna be a long clip, but it's fine. The other day, I printed out Project Dream and I now have it in manuscript form. Double-sided, of course, so it's not like super thick, uh, but I'm reading it with the purview of like, just fixing story stuff. It, it's, painful to go back through this because I realized that I'm a really terrible first write, like first writer. Um, my writing on the first go, not good. Not good. It's so painful, but I'm not reading it to fix the writing. I'm reading it to see where my timeline kind of went wrong and where I can fix it and where I can add in 
the fall Halloween-y esque because I realized, I, as I was proofreading Sarah Sutton's book um, the other day, I realized that I had no Halloween-y stuff in my fall themed middle grade. And I was just, Jenna, <laughs> what the hell? So now I have to go back through and see where I can fit it. I have to work on that and the timeline needs to be fixed. Hello friends. So it is a little bit later now. I am in my kitchen and this is a terrible angle. <laughs> um, I'm in my kitchen just about to clean up a little bit because I made lunch at like 2.30. And if you can tell from the time, it is almost four. So the benefits of being alone, you don't have to clean up right away. But I do want to clean up and I have to do the dishwasher because I ran it last night and I have to empty it. So very fun things, but today I have been filming videos constantly. I've already filmed four and I have one more to film, which is a TBR video that I'm going to be doing for the TBR of September because my wrap up was so long. I felt like it probably just would be better if I split my TBR into a different video. Plus there's a lot of books that I want to read in September. I always tell myself to keep my TBRs really short and then I go do this. Once I finish cleaning my kitchen, I'm gonna film my TBR video and then I'm going to read because all I've been doing since I've stopped filming to recharge my camera is watch booktube. But yeah, I'm going to clean my kitchen now. So let's do that. out of the shower just because I felt like I needed a night shower you know just felt like I needed it I'm not feeling great stomach is doing weird stuff so I'm just gonna burrow into my chair and sleep sleep read I'm not that tired so I'm gonna go make a tea and then I'm gonna come and occupy that very excited. Um, I just went and found a mug in my mug stash in the basement, specifically for the little slips of paper that I need to transfer from the mug that I used up here, because I used a mug for my TBR video, and the mug I actually use like regularly to drink out of, so all these little extra slips of TBR books we're going into that mug for now to sit on my bookshelf with because I don't use this mug, nor does my mom. I think this is her mug. We both have a name that starts with J. So we never really know whose mug is whose um, when it's like this, but it's probably June's because I don't remember ever ever buying a mug like that. She's probably gifted it too because she doesn't like when we stock up on mugs. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna make my tea and then I'm gonna go read. Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday. Last night, I did some reading. I ended up holding myself in that chair until about 11 and then I read in my room until like one. So, <laughs> uh, I ended up reading to page 83 of You Had Me At Ola and I am very much enjoying it still which is good. I'm pretty intrigued because they're actually including like episodes of the telenovela that they're filming, which is so fun because you get to see like, not what Jasmine and Ashton are doing, but like it's narrated as though their episode is a chapter in the book. I'm also intrigued to see how Ashton and Carmen get to know each other because right now Ashton is just kind of a dick and he just keeps leaving because <laughs> he wants to protect himself and his family from being known, which is going to change by the end of this book. <laughs> we we know. <laughs> um, and then Red Queen, I ended up reading almost to the end 
I think I'm at the 62% mark or something. I'm on chapter 21, page 257. It is very good, and I have like two hours left of the audiobook, I think. I believe I'm gonna finish that today. And then I have been trying to talk myself out of going back to the bookstore because if you guys saw in that clip, Blood and Honey, the sequel to Serpent and Dove was on the shelves early at my Indigo. And like very early, it comes out Tuesday and it's already on the shelves. Um, same with Punching the Air by Ibby Zaboy and Yusuf, um, don't remember his last name, uh, the other HarperCollins one, that releases on September 1st and that was also in the store. So my Indigo releases stuff too early, but it's okay. <laughs> I might end up going back to the store to pick up Blood and Honey and the sequel to Red Queen. Don't know. <laughs> Trying to talk myself out of it because I know I shouldn't spend any more money on books. But I also really want to spend more money on books, you know? The eternal struggle of a bookworm. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in here and let you know that there is going to be footage of a thunderstorm and, and a lightning storm after this. So if you are sensitive to flashing lights or loud thunderous noises, or if you just really don't like thunderstorms, I will put the timestamp right here for you to see, to skip forward to, if you don't want to go through that. Otherwise, enjoy the aesthetic montage of rain and thunder and lightning. <laughs> It's about um, to start storming here, and I love it so much. It's been like rumbly thundering, and the lightning has been great. I'm just waiting for it to start raining. I don't really know where I was going with that last clip. My dad had texted me right as soon as I started filming to go check the downspouts, so <laughs> that's what I did. Uh, but now I'm here waiting for the storm to truly roll in. I mean, like, it's pretty much here. We've been rumbling, lightning, and the rain just started, so. I love this. This weather is my favorite. Oh my God. Give it to me, Zeus. I love it. Anyways. I'm gonna continue eating my breakfast because it is cold now because I've just been staring at the storm for like 20 minutes. Um, but today's a perfect day to read.
Hello friends, good morning, happy Monday. I am here, just freshly showered, came back from a walk with Bella. It is such a lovely day today. It's like 15 degrees and sunny, so it's got that little bit of a nip in the air. I'm just living my best life, it's so good. Um, What did I do yesterday that I haven't updated you on yet? Oh, <laughs> I finished Red Queen yesterday. And I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it four stars. It was typical YA, just enjoyable, compulsively readable. And the ending, the twist, or just back to back, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I cannot wait to see where the rest of the series goes. I also only went in to get like my milk yesterday, but in that endeavor, I. <laughs> forgot to get mom's milk because I'm lactose intolerant so I have to have like almond milk and I was like oh I'm almost out of my milk I'm gonna go get some totally didn't even realize that we were out of the regular milk too so I have to go back in today and we have like no veg in the house so I gotta actually do a grocery shop <laughs> even though yesterday that was my whole goal <laughs> I don't know how I did it I ended up buying like hair products and I bought myself new nail polish and I got a new cardigan. I was just like, this is great. I like all of this. So then I got home and mom was like, she got home from camping yesterday. She's just like, you didn't get our milk? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so that was my day yesterday. And then I was also up until like two in the morning reading um, The 13th Tale by Diane Setterfeld. And it, it is getting so good. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it a whole lot here because it's for a video, but I am this far away from being done. So that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, so today I'm going back into the city. Gotta get some actual, some groceries, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna be up to today. Probably working on Project Dark, reading. What else do I do? So yeah. I'll catch up with you later. I did, I did, I did a bad thing. I got Blood and Honey and the sequel to Red Queen. So I have no willpower, but this is it for the rest of the year. I'm not buying any more books. I have so many to read. I have pre-orders coming in. Oh, it's fine. I just really want to read these. That's all. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I also got myself a warm coffee today because it's actually kind of warm out so fun times anyways grocery shopping let's do that <laughs> hey friends it is now a little Ooh, my hair is slowly deteriorated through the day <laughs> we're just gonna ignore that my dog is currently rolling on the ground look at you you're just such a show off yeah she just ate a late lunch so she's feeling very good about herself <laughs> I am actually going to end the vlog here because it is now about 3.20 on Monday and I need to edit this and throw it up for tomorrow morning. So thank you so much for watching. What did I do in this vlog? Went to bookstores, bought way too many books this weekend. There was a great storm yesterday. It was just really generally a great cozy weekend, a great way to end August. Next weekend is my birthday which is very exciting. I don't usually do a whole lot for my birthdays. They don't really mean much to me. If I don't celebrate it a whole lot, it doesn't really matter to me. It's just another day where I get older. Um, but it's also kind of like gently exciting, that like flavor of when you're little and when you, when you get one year older is still around just a little. Um, so that's gonna be fun. It's on the Sunday, so. Who knows what I'll be doing? Uh, probably reading, because that's what I want to be doing. <laughs> so you'll see me again next weekend, for sure, for sure. And I got a bunch of new videos coming out soon. Got them all pre-filmed. Hopefully I will also have a good specialty kind of vlog or a writing experiment vlog go up as well sometime this month. But yeah, tomorrow's the first day of September, so that's a good time. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I read one book. I read all of Red Queen, which was a great time. I also read the majority of the 13th tale, read about 80 pages of You Had Me at Ola, which is always a good time. I'm excited to keep going with this. 
excited to see what it has in store for me. But yeah, stick around. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do because you know, my little corner of YouTube is pretty fun. I, if I say so for myself. <laughs> uh, and make sure to like this video and comment down below just something that you're really excited about in September, whether that's the colder weather, whether it's a specific book, whether it's a birthday. <laughs> Let me know down below. I love chatting with you guys. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching. I will catch you in another video soon. Stay kind and keep on reading. <laughs>